Hey everyone, it's Erica from the Nerd Journals, and I'm here today to show you August in my Code and Quill journal. As you can see, it's getting totally fat and juicy. I feel like there's finally an end in sight with this big guy, and this is what it looks like. So, yep. The end is near. Maybe a month, six weeks? I don't know. I don't really keep track. We'll, we'll figure it out when we get there. But, yep, I'm happy to show you the next month in my journal starting with starting with August 1st I feel like I already showed you this page it must have been accidentally when I was showing you the end of July I just flipped over here um so yeah this is the first day of August in my journal right here uh this is me just talking about me preferring the timeline when Jordan Peterson was dead yeah, um, when I realized that man was still alive, I got very, very disappointed. Oh, he's a horrible human being. Look at this little guy right here. This is actually on a mailer from my credit union, and I thought he was so cute. I just popped him in there, and I picked some random text I had laying around. Doesn't really mean anything. It's just cute. He had big glasses, so I thought I Spy was fun. Um, these triangles are made from trash, which scrap magic. I think I got her name right this time. Uh, last time I was way off and I had to put text on the screen, but I think I got it this time. Um, I spent a little bit in July working on this Hamza hand. Hamza hand. Hamza. I'm sure there's a better way of saying that, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I love how this turned out. This was kind of just some concept art for something bigger I want to do. Um, and it was actually in July, even though it showed up in August, because... Um, when I work on a piece of art, I usually flip a few pages ahead, and this just happened to uh, land in August. And this one right here I flipped ahead and made, too, because I was working on this uh, well before August, but this one I actually finished in August, fun enough. I thought it would be cute to use these little house stickers and these little shop stickers for my Mr. Rogers alien, because, you know, won't you be my neighbor? neighbor neighborhood it made sense to me question though if i didn't tell you this was a mr rogers alien would you know this was a mr rogers alien I'm, i mean i think the alien part speaks for itself but do you know that's mr rogers with his little cardigan and changing his shoes um, i sometimes think about going back and adding in the trolley but i don't think i'd be able to do it well enough to do it any justice so i'm just gonna leave it blank uh, maybe someday in the future I can revisit the concept of uh, Mr. Rogers as an alien. So I love these stickers right here. They're from Violette Stickers, but I think more in particular these were a gift from Megan. She's uh, such a good friend and she knows my style so, so well. Those stickers are incredible. Um, I think I actually... I think I used up the sticker sheet on this page. I'm not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure. Um, this is also where I saw the Barbie movie. Yeah, I know. I, we all want to talk about the Barbie movie. Loved it, not gonna lie. Um, in this page, when I was laying down post-its, I realized, my god, I write about so much stuff that I don't want to share. I write, um, yeah, I have to be careful when I'm journaling, or not when I'm journaling. I have to be careful when I'm recording videos to not show some things, because I write such personal things about me and other people and awful thoughts sometimes but you know it is what it is it's a journal um and this was me trying to have a go at a dutch door without looking up exactly what a dutch door is so i know it's like some sort of hole in a page kind of thing so i kind of just grabbed my scissors and went for it um i love these uh doors here when you open it up it says don't forget sis this moment is fleeting af um, and this is the part where I'm not sure if this is a proper Dutch door or not, because I, um, I don't know, I feel like maybe these pages are supposed to be glued together, and you just open it up and see the next page. But I have a page that's just open, and, you know, you can move the, the doors either way. Uh, all right, maybe you know what I'm saying, maybe you don't, maybe it's not important anyway. Um, but like I said, I just had to put so many little post-its here. I, um, I have to, um, be careful. Like I said, uh, this page is gorgeous. I'm in love with this page. I love this pink washi. And I love the, um, 
the stickers from my apothecary sticker book. And you know what? I have it handy and it's going to make a little cameo today. I love this sticker book so much. I'm going to put the link below if in case you want to buy one. Um, I will get a small commission from Amazon, but you know, not enough to keep the lights on here at the Nerd Journals. But you know, if you want to buy one, that's that's where you get one. Let me show you a little bit too. This, this this is probably my favorite sticker book I've ever had. I keep landing on the between pages. There we are. Um, and there's so many stickers left, and I feel like I've used so many, but there's still tons of beautiful stickers that remain. I love that sticker book. i um, repeating myself, but um, it's just so perfect. I love the aesthetic. Um, just got some fun alien stuff, a little space theme going on here with my little alien um, day of the week sticker. I don't remember who gave me those, but I love them so much. You'll see them in use a lot through this journal. I, I'm sure I just forget to point them out most of the time. Uh, a little bit of Simpsons here. I rewatched the first eight and a half seasons or so. I kind of lost in season nine. It wasn't as good as the rest, so I stopped watching. And um, but you know, I, I kind of watched the first nine or ten seasons every every year or so, every other year or so. I love it so much. I grew up with the Simpsons. It's part of my soul. Now, I love these stickers right here. They're like, um, they're really childlike space stickers. I love the doodle, the doodle style of it, and I love that they have, um, the iridescent shine on it. Like, check out uh, that rocket there. It's a little shiny. Matches my washi tape on the edges, and this page just makes me so happy. I wish I had a, a an ink for my fountain pen that was a color like that. That would have made the page pop like crazy. What are you gonna do, though? Um, here, I believe I was using up some more stickers from Violette Stickers. I love her stickers so much. I, I don't know why I, um, I'm not going to say hoard. I don't hoard, but I don't know why I save them so hard when they're just as wonderful in my journals as they are on the sticker sheets. And to be honest, once I put them in my journals, I like them more in my journals than I do on the sticker sheets. So I gotta, gotta stop holding back and just stick all my favorite things. Um, I went to the library this day, I remember, because it says just read local. I grabbed that from there. Um, I also had a teeny little wax of chewy lemon head tropical that day. It was a quarter and I really needed a sugar fix. Um, this right here was from Mama J. She sent me this cat. I don't remember what it's called. I looked it up, but I forget. Um, but she sent me a bunch of things with this cat on it and this cat doing fun things and it just makes me happy. I liked the little unicorn one, and I also liked one where it was riding on a broomstick and falling off. That was really cute as well. And then just some uh, fun stickers from a sticker book I got at Michael's several years ago. I think I used up a page when I did this spread. Um, back to the Apothecary sticker book right here. And also this was a little sticker sheet I got from either Pip Sticks or Sticky. I don't remember which one. Um, but that's one of those sticker membership things where you pay a monthly fee and they send you stickers. I was subscribed like one or two months for each of those and I don't remember which which company sent me these particular stickers. If you look closely, I accidentally put these stickers in upside down. Um, I think I do this at least once a journal and this was my first time in this journal. So this was popping the cherry of doing something upside down accidentally on this page. Um, and as you can see, I was binge watching Love for Paper a little bit this day. Um, I love her videos so much. I have to go back and, um, she posted one where she was showing off her Halloween goodies and I didn't make it all the way through and I just forgot until now and now I know I want to go back and watch it. So, uh, note to self, Erica. Um, here are some fun monster stickers. I love these little guys. I don't know where they came from, but I have two or three sheets of them. Maybe Karina. Um... Now that I think of it, I think all the stickers on this page are from Karina. These monsters and these little um, glittery hearts that I really like. They're so pretty. Um, this page makes me super happy. It's just fun and colorful, and I love fun and colorful. Um, what do we got here? Um, first of all, <laughs> Days of the Week aliens all over this page. Uh, this woman right here writing in her journal, she's from Breathe Magazine. She was actually coloring, but you know, for all intents and purposes, she's writing in her journal on this page. 
Um, I made some sweet little space doodles right here to um, match her, her bra and her pants, so the colors go really well together here, I think. And this came from Breathe Magazine as well, and this, actually, this is something I've been meaning to show you. Um, I got this quote from a little book. The quote says, be happy for this moment. This moment is your life. I love that. But I want to show you the book that it's from, so hold on for just a second. I think I've shown this book on here once or twice over the years. It's Everyday Gratitude, and it's just filled with fun quotes uh, about being grateful, being grateful for your life for the moment, and um, the fonts are fun, and the backgrounds are colorful, and they have little um, prompts on the bottom of the page. I got this for like a dollar at a flea market, and um, I've been slowly tearing out pages. As you can see, there's chunks missing here and there. And that's where this quote came from. Um, I actually believe these feet are from Be and Breathe magazine as well. I love their style of art. It's very, um, it's kind of got a specific look to it. Here on the left page is a master triggers for brain dumping. I got this idea from a Bujo channel called Jashi Corin. I'm going to link her below because if you're interested in um, bullet journaling and things similar to bullet journaling. I like her because of the ideas I can use in my actual journal as well as my half-assed bullet journal I keep with my husband. But um, this right here is just a page divided up into nine aspects of my life and then trigger words for each for each uh, category. And I can go back and look at this for what I'm brain dumping to uh, trigger thoughts and memories I want to write down. So I love this. I need to actually write it on a separate piece of paper so it's something I could just use from journal to journal and, you know, update every now and then because obviously, you know, interests and hobbies will change. People in my life will change over time. And, uh, yep, love this idea. I've been flipping back to it for um, probably about two weeks now. Um, every time I write, almost every time I write, I flip back to this for a little bit of um, inspiration. I had to cover some up because some of it's personal, but you know, what you could see here is kind of what goes on on the other, the other little boxes as well. But yeah, if you want to know more, check out the video. I'm going to link below for, uh, the master triggers for brain dump. Um, the only warning I will give you is that it's a live video, so it's like two hours long. Um, but yeah, check it out. Jashi Corn is, is really fun to watch. This page right here is fun. I love these colorful stickers. Um, these were kind of the aesthetic from a few years ago, and I realized I'm kind of just sitting on these stickers with this a little bit old-fashioned aesthetic now, and I just went ahead and used them before they become um, not good old-fashioned. You know what I mean? Not, not cool retro, but like old-fashioned. I think you guys know what I mean. Uh, I'm just using up some stickers here. I've been um, working hard to use up a few things recently, and as you can tell, it's going pretty well. Um, this washi tape, this is one of my favorites. I just love the color. The design is simple, and I like it. I like repeating patterns. And I used up the sticker sheet right here with the little plant terrariums. Those are so cute. Um, I'm going to bring this closer so you can see them. Aren't those adorable? I'm pretty sure I got this from Hobby Lobby um, a long time ago. I don't shop at Hobby Lobby anymore. I'm sure you guys know how awful of a company that is. And I uh, choose to spend my dollars elsewhere. Um, I love this page. It's too bad I can't show it to you better because I have these um, pretty big circles with like kind of grungy lines around them on the background. And I really like how it looks, but of course the post-it notes take away from the effect. Um, this right here is a little print out of mountains, and um, it's got like kind of a spacey sky with a nebula and a crescent moon. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Well, now that I'm looking at my screen, you probably can see that pretty decently. It's really cute. I like that. And then I found that word, um, the word drugs, written in a child's handwriting. Love that. That was just fun. And... Here we are, last day of August. I found this broom in Enchanted Living magazine. That's that witch magazine I show you guys. Um, and then this washi over here is super fun. This one here in the background, this this um, diagonal pink, 
This is the size of that washi tape. It's not several strips. It is this wide. I've never seen washi this wide until I inherited a bunch. Um, I don't remember if it was this year or last year, but I inherited a bunch of stuff from a, an online friend. And it had this wide washi in it, plus like one or two others that are pretty wide as well. And they're so crazy fun. So I like putting other washi tapes on top of it to kind of uh, break up the pink a little bit. But all in all, this page is really fun. I do like pink. I do like purple. And I do like this little alien up here telling me what day of the week it was written on. And, yeah, August 31st goes on to this page as well. Um, nothing special here other than some washi tape and this illustration of paintbrushes in a cup. And here on the right is my Hello September along with my new tab. I accidentally made it a little shorter than my other tabs, but that's okay. Um, it was way, it was way longer at first, and I trimmed a little too much off the top, and now it's way shorter. It is what it is. I can't fix it now, so I'm just gonna roll with it. So I've got uh, enough space for one more tab. That'll be for October, and if I roll this journal into November, I am going to scoot back to the top to add my next tab for November. So, yep, I've been thinking about this. I got plans. I love how this journal is working out. Um, I can't really show you anything back here because I haven't posted it. Post it, 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 it. <laughs> I haven't put post it notes on it yet, is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> but what I do want to show you is this right here. Um, and I was wondering if you guys want me to record a video of me sticker bombing the inside. Um, I planned on doing a video of this for you when I sticker bombed the inside front cover. I wasn't planning on doing the back as well. But um, since I got a glitter from my background, since I made this without actually recording it, um, I'm a little upset. <laughs> but if you'd like, I can go back and do the back instead and record it instead and hopefully remember to hit the record button. But yep, let me know. So thank you so much to everyone who watched this. I really appreciate you being here with me. If you like my content, you should definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And if you leave a comment below, it actually really helps my channel and I'm working really hard on it. So I would appreciate if you definitely gave me the thumbs up and um, if you really like my content, you could see it early. Hello, patrons who are viewing this early. <laughs> you can subscribe to my Patreon at thenerdjournals.net for as little as $2 a month. So yeah, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. It's been fun, and until next time, bye-bye.